Megyn Kelly and Howard Kurtz had a discussion about whether or not Fox News should have shown the new ISIS murder video. Let's watch. Megan, I see the arguments on both sides. I understand the case that we ought to show the pure evil that is ISIS. And I thought our colleague Brett Baer handled it judiciously by just showing a couple of still images. But I disagree with the Fox decision, and here's why. ISIS, uh, I fear that many of us in the media are helping ISIS spread its propaganda using its fear tactics. And I felt the same way with the beheading videos, still images of which became almost like wallpaper for every story about ISIS. And when that tactic became so familiar, uh, these terrorists, these butchers, went to the even more sick and depraved and barbaric method of burning a man to death. And I just have a concern that we are helping spread the fear that ISIS so badly wants to spread. Mm -hmm. You know, generally on this program, I, I have a sort of personal philosophy of going toward the light. And, and what that means to me personally is you don't have to show the worst of the barbarities because people want to get the news, but they don't necessarily want to be reminded every moment of the worst of human nature. However, we did make a decision to show one still last night of the flames as they began to engulf this man. And the reason we as a show decided to do that was it's as if we're in World War II, Howie, and there was a chance to see inside the, the concentration camp and inside the gas chamber as the horror was happening. And at some point in this battle, do we not have to just remind people of the enemy we face? I'm not saying every night and every atrocity, but at some point, don't we need to be reminded of what it is we face unless, you know, lest we be accused later of ignoring that enemy and not doing enough to combat it? Or you could do, uh, as you pointed out earlier, what Chef Smith did and describe it in detail without showing it. I guess I don't have a great problem with showing a single image and doing it on one night. My problem was with the constant showing of the images just before the beheading uh, that I think almost served as a recruitment poster for ISIS. Now, on the business of FoxNews.com making the video available, I'm more comfortable with that because people can choose to click or not to click. If somebody wants to see that, if they want to see the horror that was this murder that has galvanized the world, they can choose to do so. But, you know, to be honest, part of me also says, why are we making it easier, it easier? for people to see this monstrous yeah. footage? I don't know where this idea came from that showing the video is helping recruitment for ISIS. There's no evidence of that. There's no data. There's no statistics. There's no studies. It's just something people say and they assume it's true. I don't think it's true at all. The overwhelming majority of people who saw the ISIS video were horrified by it and outraged by it, and it made them hate ISIS. And in fact, this rallied the world against them. I mean, specifically, the Muslim world has stood up now against ISIS, and they're like, enough, enough with this shit. Because they know, you know, moderate Muslims know that the fundamentalists paint them in a bad light. So they're like, fuck, would you stop already? And the arguments... Kurtz is making, I just mentioned this in the last segment, and we're hitting a lot of the same themes here, but bear with me. The argument he's making is, don't show the Nazi gas chambers because Steve down the street might want to join the SS. That's not, that's not a good argument. That's not true. And the answer to bad media, so that's the argument. This is bad media if you just show the ISIS video. The answer to bad media is more media because it gives you more perspective and more context. So, for example, you show the ISIS video, yes, I support that, but then also show the Saudi Arabia beheading, because that's our ally, and we'll go, oh, we're hypocrites, we support them, we don't like them, but they're doing the same thing, that doesn't make any sense. Show, like, the, again, the Vietnam footage, when we had cameras in Vietnam, and everybody saw the casualty rate, and the carnage, and the death, and the explosions, and the anger, and the fear in the eyes of the young people, everybody went, oh, wow, no, let's get out of there, I see what's happening. This is not okay. This is not okay. So do it there with Iraq too, man. They did it in Vietnam. They didn't do it in Iraq nearly as much because they learned the lesson from Vietnam. The elite did where they were like, no, ban footage because people will be against this war very quickly if they see exactly what's happening there. But that's the thing is if you show all the flag draped coffins coming back from our wars overseas and if you show everything in context and perspective in Saudi Arabia and Vietnam and all these different places, what will happen is we'll have all the information and when we have all the information, we will make intelligent decisions. This idea that if you show uh, the ISIS video, I mean, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Like, I get it. Fox News is trying to fear monger to, to go to war. 
Fox News is always fear-mongering to go to more war. This doesn't make a difference. The audience is already 100% in favor of us going to war over there. This doesn't make a difference. So, uh, let's all fall on the side of more information, more video, uh, more facts. Let's not play the, hey, self-censor yourself game, because that's a game that's not in line with civil liberties and not in line with progressive ideology, and we need to recognize that and push for more information, not less.